Well, John Wilkinson is Windsor's longest ALS survivor. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It causes muscles to slowly die, and it's almost always fatal. But ALS hasn't stopped Wilkinson from developing his artistic side and using that to get people talking about an important issue. Kim Christie is standing by with that story. Kim? Susan, what an incredible ongoing source of inspiration. Now, we met, first met John Wilkinson about 10 years ago as he was finding some meaning in his life by teaching his daughter's grade 7 class about his muscle wasting disease. Well, now, John Wilkinson has inspired local artist Colette Broders into visually portraying his poetry. And the topic? The environment. Hello, students. Ten years ago, John Wilkinson told us he wanted to make a difference in his life by teaching students to never give up. Words he lives day after day. His life dependent on a breathing machine and is always the constant vigilance of his brother Jim. Now John Wilkinson still wants to make a difference. Our environment and the air we breathe being my primary concern. Artist Colette Broders heard about Wilkinson and they formed an artistic partnership. Having the opportunity to work with an artistic talent such as Colette on a topic of great concern to everyone has been an absolute pleasure. Broders has a multimedia art show now on display at the Common Ground Gallery. It's called Climbing Mountains, The Alchemist and the Poet, an exhibit of original art and media. I think it's just a, a really incredible journey First of all, for John to be able to make this trip, um, it's really a hill, but it's more like a mountain to John. And we get to the top of this hill and sort of look across the river and you see Zug Island spewing out all of this pollution. It just sort of came to me, this analogy between the alchemist trying to turn base metal into gold and Zug Island, this steel mill, um, producing all this pollution, trying to make money. There are alchemist or chemical symbols integrated into the artwork and the inspiration of poetry by John Wilkinson. Preserve Earth's resources, the ant is far from near. The land, the sea, the air we breathe, the future of our children is what we fear. The destruction of Earth's boundaries is all we hear. I guess I would really like to provoke people to to think about their response to the environment. And it is provocative. Uh, Colette Broders challenges our perceptions. She provides interactive opportunities to give us a chance to hear things we might not expect, like John Wilkinson's synthesized, <laughs> that's a tough word for me, <laughs> synthesized voice, tough for John too, and also that little more scratching that he uses to communicate with. I think you pay attention more because of the synthesized voice. Um, you said, Kim, the exhibit is at the Common Ground Gallery at Mackenzie Hall. How long does it run? Well, it runs until next Wednesday, which is August 20th, but uh, it's worth mentioning that tonight at 7 o'clock, John Wilkinson will be making a personal appearance, and he will, of course, be tethered to his portable breathing machine. Okay, thank you so much, Kim. The CBC's Kim Christie, live tonight.